Do you remember the first item of clothing that he made? I will tell you, I made the mistake of storing my nice dresses in a closet next to his bedroom. And he would take my dresses and redesign them and would make them into them? whatever he would, yes, yes. Yes, they were very nice dresses too. I and mean, they were very pretty dresses. Did you ever think that it would be a future career for him? Or did you kind of have an idea that this could be something he would do? I knew it'd be something styling or kind of in that world or that. I'm telling you, he was always critiquing what I was wearing. He was always, you know, and believe me, I was asking, do these earrings look okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so normally I'm flying all over the country interviewing favorite moms, but today I am in my office. Welcome. I am so excited though for our first virtual edition of Through Mom's Eyes. I'm sitting down with the mom of a very successful fashion designer. He has dressed Lady Gaga, Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle, and former First Lady Michelle Obama, just to name a few. Who could it be? I'm talking about Brandon Maxwell, and today I'm talking with his mom, Pam. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Knock, knock, knock. How are you? I'm great. I hello wish I could get from Texas. Oh my goodness. Hello from 30 Rockefeller Plaza in New York City. I, I, wish I, could, that. I wish I could give you a hug. Um, it's so great to talk to you. Good to talk to you. So why don't we just start by you just telling me, I know you have four kids. Tell us a little bit about each of them. Okay. Brandon was first. Uh, I had him shy of four years to, mar to ourselves. And then along came Katie. And six years later, Ben. And then two years later, Bianca. Two boys, two girls. Tell me what it was like in those early years in the thick of it. I'm going to be honest with you. Please. It was really hard because I had Brandon here, you know, at his age doing his thing. And then his sister and then... I've got babies at home that need to sleep, I have a routine. We had a great family support. Brandon had his both grandparents here, aunts and uncles. So there was always somebody at every event. There was a lot of help. Brandon mentioned his love for his grandmother's job at a fashion boutique. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I will, I'll tell you the story on that. His school was literally around the corner from where my mom worked. Um, it was one of those stores where you can call up and say, hey, I need this outfit for this event. And you walked in, she had a wrap full, she had the outfit, she had the shoes, she had the earrings, she had the purses. You walked in, you got what you needed and you left. And, and, and that's, I think, a lot of that love of what he does, designing clothes, came from that, watching my mom. You know, Brandon was not only just designing or clothes or dressing up his friends for photo shoots or doing you know, doing all those things. He loved drama. He was writing his own plays. At the age of six, we had a stage made for him because he was writing and creating and he was always, he was just that creative kid. There's a part of his story that I think is so important that I think will resonate with people. You know, he mentioned in an article once that he felt threatened and insecure outside of his loving cocoon. Did you see that as a parent? And I asked because yes. You did see that. Oh, definitely. I did see his insecurities. And I mean, I think he questioned himself a lot, but I think deep down inside, it's almost like, you know, you hear Brandon, he has said this several times, lean into who you are. And he was always leaning. He was always moving in that direction. He was true to himself. Yeah, it was scary. It was scary when he went off to New York. It was scary when he first started in the, business just styling or you know but what an education he received and brought him back to what his meaning his purpose was in life as a parent what do you do when you know your child is insecure or they may feel like an outsider sometimes you know you just reassure them and you're positive listen i always had the faith and belief in him and I think he had it down of course he had it in himself you just have to just remind him it's there and you just you know as a parent what 
their gifts are. Obviously, it was like a red flashing light, you know, like this is what I do, this is, this is me. Do you still have pinch me moments? Maybe when you see his name in clothes or on billboards, like that's my son, or I mean, are you kidding me, Mrs. Obama, Gaga, you name it? Yes, 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 all of the above. I mean, starting with styling Gaga or styling a campaign for her and it's showing up in a magazine or it never gets old. We used to come home every day and watch Oprah. And when he dressed Oprah, I mean, and I'm not saying that that's just my favorite. There's so many, but I'm okay, just saying I'm there's right over on my desk. I mean, it's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a moment. The best outfit Brandon has styled or designed for you over the years. The best will have to be the very first one because you mentioned a while ago, what's it like a Michelle Obama and all these people? And I'm like, what is it about? Mama, 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 why, why not mama? <laughs> <laughs> I went like over a year seeing everyone else wearing Brandon and I had never even slipped into a Brandon Maxwell outfit. And so he surprised me with my very first June of 2016, I'll never forget. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And I felt so beautiful in it, you know, just felt so good. It hit all the right places. And I couldn't believe I was actually wearing my, my own son. Now he's this judge, you know, on Project Runway. Do you watch? Do you usually agree with his opinions? It's kind of hard for me to relax and watch, you know, because I'm still nervous every show. And the whole $250. thing makes me want to lay on this floor, curl up in a ball, <laughs> and start crying. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. She is the one. I love his brain is funny. He makes me laugh. He's always made me laugh. And so his comments sometimes but I think he's doing great. Last year during Fashion Week, your son dedicated his line to you and mentioned how your battle with breast cancer made him see how strong you truly were. How did that moment feel? What does that feel like? I'm 4'11", I'm never gonna be on a runway. I, I don't even know. No, no, Chanel, you have no idea. His whole life last, while we were walking down that runway, I was thinking of the day he was born and all the things we've been through. And I couldn't believe that he made his dreams come true. And my son's doing what he's meant to do. And this, and it was just, um, and thank goodness I made it. I didn't fall, um, but I was, I was a crying mess. How were your children there for you when you needed them? Was that a hard switch to lean on them rather than you? Or talk to me about, about that time in your diagnosis. What was that like for you? Brandon was flying in, which I tried to, he was in the middle of, you know, filming Project Runway and he was, you know, flying in to be with me. Um, all of my kids, my daughter, Katie, all of them love and support. They did, they were the best. So how are you doing now? Um, still have my visits, but I'm feeling great. Kicked it out, got rid of it, moving on, doing great. Did you ever have a moment where you are sitting back, you know, they're taking care of you or you're looking at them as these young adults and just think, wow, like I think I did okay, you know? Chanel, yes, but I, won't, I will tell you, I had a lot of sleepless nights. That was really, really hard. And there were some very, very dark times and dark times in my life. There were dark times in Brandon's life, things he had gone through or in each child. And, but a couple of years ago, my kids told me, mom, you've got to let it go. Just let it go. We're fine. Is there anything else that you want moms or not just moms, but parents to know about this journey and this thing called motherhood? Pay attention to what, who they are and build on that, encourage that. If they're doing what they love and what their true self is and who they are, then they're gonna be a success. And Brandon is celebrating five years right now in 10 shows. And that was something that he used to tell me in the very beginning, if I could just make it to five years, mom. And here we are already five years and so just let them be and just let them go and let them do their thing and that's that just encourage that's that would be the best advice i guess
Well, thank you for being my first virtual mom. And when we get to the other side of this, I'm coming. Would love to have you, Chanel. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So delightful.